Welcome back to another video. My name is Sean and I'm a registered dietitian. Today we are going to be talking about compounding. Now if you remember in any of my other videos about TPN, there's two different ways that you can do TPN. You can either compound where the pharmacist custom makes TPN based on your recommendations or you can use a product called Clinamix which is a dextrose and amino acid containing solution, these pre-made bags that um, are often used at smaller facilities that don't do TPN super often, so they really don't need the compounding machines and experience and all that. But today we're gonna be talking about compounding. Now I will preface this and say I have very little experience with compounding. I will show you guys the math on it but I'm probably not going to make too many more videos on this subject because it's not something that I do regularly and I'm not going to attempt to educate people on something that I don't do every single day. So here is our hypothetical patient. They weigh 65 kilograms. They need 1800 calories, 80 grams of protein, and 1800 mils of water. Now, unlike Clinamix, with compounding, you have a lot more customization in terms of the amount of protein you give them and the amount of fluid you give them. If you remember with Clinamix, you just take this graph and you look based on the type of Clinamix solution that you're using, based on the patient's energy and protein needs, what rate that Clinamix will run at, whether it's 60 an hour, 70 an hour, 80 an hour, but that might not be enough fluid for your patient. So they might need additional IV fluids on top of the Clinamix. Now, in some scenarios, maybe the Clinamix is too much a uh, solution for your patient. So the nice thing is you can change the protein, the water, and the percent dextrose that you use to better meet your patient's specific needs, including their hydration needs. So let's go ahead and do the math. Now with compounding and with Clinamix, you can use a product called Intralipids. This is a 20%, it's a 20% fat solution containing 500 calories as lipids. I typically order them every other day. It is a 250 milliliter bag. If I order this every other day, my patient will receive 250 calories as fat daily. So the way that this works is, first when you have your patient, determine their caloric, their protein, and their fluid needs. Then you take their caloric needs and you subtract the calories they're going to get from fat. So here they're going to be getting 250 calories per day on average from fat. And then we have to subtract their protein calories. So their protein calories is just going to be four calories per gram times 80 grams gives you 320 320, 16, 320 kcals as protein. So this person needs 1800 minus their fat calories minus their protein calories gives us a need of 1230 kcals from the remaining macronutrient carbs or dextrose. Now, if you remember any of my other IV or hydration videos, there's um, dextrose containing IV fluids. There's D5, there's D10, there's D15, D20, D25. My understanding with compounding is, you know, you try and get it close to the typical the, the typical uh, D15, I believe there's also a D18, D20. You try and get it as close to some of these 15, 20, 25 mark. 
So this is a percent dextrose containing uh, uh, fluid and you try and get as close as possible. So here we have a remaining need of 1,230 calories from dextrose. Remember, dextrose is 3.4 calories per gram. So we're going to divide by 3.4. It's almost time for a new marker. That's how many videos I've made. I've just been going through markers. So 1,230 divided by the calories from dextrose gives us 362 grams of dextrose. That's what this patient needs, is 362 grams of dextrose to meet the remaining caloric needs. So we can take this and you can divide by the amount of fluid that they need per day. So this person needs 1800 mils. And this will give us 362 divided by 1800 gives us 0 0.2. And then because these are all in percentages, it's a percent dextrose containing fluid. So we're going to multiply this by 100%. Um, this will give us the percent dextrose solution that we need. So uh, times 100 gives us 20% uh, dextrose solution. So they can get D20. The question is, what rate are we going to run that at? So we can do this 1800 mils divide by 24 gives you 75 mils per hour. So they'll get a D20 at 75 milliliters per hour with 80 grams protein and intralipids every other day. So that's what this would look like. Call your pharmacist up, you say, I want D20 at 75 mils an hour with 80 grams amino acids and intralipids every other day, 20% intralipids every other day. So the pharmacist will take a bag of, T of D20 They'll put in uh, they'll put in the amino acids and then they'll hang the lipids separately. And so that's how you do a custom TPN mix. Let's recap real quick. So you have to calculate out your calorie, your protein, and your water needs. Unlike with Clinimix, the water needs aren't quite as important because they'll typically have other fluids going. But if you want to meet their, their um, hydration needs with TPN alone, uh, then that's the nice thing about compounding is you can do that. So you take the calories that the patient needs, you subtract the fat calories from intralipids, whether it's 500 or whether it's 250, whatever you've decided, subtract the fat calories subtract the protein calories by multiplying the grams of protein by the calories per gram. And then you take the calories remaining from that you need to get from dextrose, divide by 3.4 because there's 3.4 calories per gram of dextrose, giving you the remaining dextrose in grams needed per day, divided by the patient's fluid needs will give you the percentage of dextrose. So this worked out where it gives us D20, but if it comes out to D17 or uh, D21, what you can do is you can, uh, you can do the math. Let's say it's uh, D17 at 75 an hour or something. You can round up, you can round up to D20 do the math and figure out, okay, how many extra calories is this person going to get? Is that acceptable? And do the math that way. 
but here they're going to be getting a D20 solution, 75 mils an hour, 80 grams of protein, and intralipids every other day. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Have any comments or questions, post them down below. If you enjoyed this content, please give me the thumbs up and like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.